In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a yearly calendar in Excel and make it completely dynamic for any year. Let's get started. First of all, what we will do is to make all cells square. We will go here to the top left corner, click on it, select all the cells, then we will go to the view tab and select page layout. And here we will click on any column, right click and choose column width and let's say it will be only one and select it then we will go to any row right click and choose row height and select the same value and let's say it will be one and okay then we will go again to view tab and select normal view in order to disappear to have disappeared this line you can see the breaks right of the page you can go to file options advanced then scroll down till this display option for this worksheet and click off on show page breaks and then ok and you can see and now we have it now what we will do is we need to put here the year Let's put the year of today and then we need to uh, set up the every month. So every week we will start with Monday till Sunday. And the first month will be January. January. OK, and now let me put it in the middle of this week. So uh, uh, I will select every every cells, right click, then format cells. And then from here you can go to alignment, choose center across selection and then click on OK. And here you have it. And now we would like to have it in the middle of the selection, right? So we will go again, right click and format cells. And from here, you can choose alignment again and vertical, and it will be in the center. And OK. And the same we will do with every cell of the week. We will go right click or control one. You can choose it as well and choose selection. It will be center. Let's put here and center here as well and click on OK. And now I will repeat it for every month. And now we need to add dates to every month. We will start with the function sequence and the number of rows is the number of weeks we will have in every month. In general, we have starting from four till six. So let's put the maximum, it is six. The number of columns is the number of days we have in the week. We have seven, right? From Monday till Sunday. So we'll put seven here. And the start date is the day uh, from which we will start. We start uh, with uh, the first day of the month. And then the step will be one because we will move with one day from one till the end. So we will put here one and click on enter. And here we have. And we will copy this sequence function to every month.
Now we need to find the first day of each month. So we will start here our calculation and we will put here a month and we will start with January. And let me it expand a little bit and we will still let me check October, November, December till December. So double click here and we will find here uh, the number of the months, the number of the months, how we can find it. It is one, two, right? And so on. So let me click it and and here we have the number of the months. And then we will find the first date, first day of the months. How we will find it? We will use the function date. The year will be our year we put here in the beginning, right? Then the month will be January. We can use the text format, so we will use the number format. And the day will be the first one because we find the first day of the month. So it is one. And it is the first of January. And we double click here. And what happened here? It is not selected correctly. Why? Because I didn't lock this one. And I need to lock the year. So put a four the dollar sign and then double click and now we have it what happened if we will change here and put another month another year we see that everything is changed so let me go back now what we need is to find the day of the week which correspond the first day of each month so let me put here day of the week and double click here and we will use the function weekday and here the serial number is the first day of our month and then comma and the return type will be number two because we will start with Monday and we will have seven days in the week and end by Sunday this one close parenthesis and click on enter and double click to repeat the formula till the end and let's check it is true or not so let me put it in the middle and this one as well and here the number one is monday the number two tuesday and so on so we have here the numbers of the week starting from one till seven and let's check. I open my calendar, go to the 1st of uh, January and we see that it is Monday. It's correct. Let's check 1st of May and the 1st of May is Wednesday, number 3. So everything works. And now we need to find the first Monday of the month. The first Monday of the month. So we know that the 1st of January is Monday. This is obviously it will be the same, right? But here the first day of uh, February is the number four of the day. It is Thursday, right? But we need to find which day will be Monday and so on. So here what we need is to take this one minus this one and scroll down and here what happened if we will go here and to the first of january we know that it should be monday the first day of the week this one and we calculate minus one we lost the week right and if we will go here the first of february which is thursday it is uh, this one should be the 1st of February, right? And we calculate minus 4, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. We also lost the week. So what we need here is to add plus 1. 
and copy it down. And by this way, we received that the Monday is the first of January, and here the first uh, the first Monday is uh, 29 of January. Let's check. Let me go and search, for example, uh, in March. The first Monday will be 26 of uh, February. It's correct. Let's check July. And the first Monday is the first of July. And let's check October. October, uh, the first uh, Monday is uh, uh, 30 of September. And it is correct. Everything works. And now we can change the first Monday of each month with this uh, function we have here. What, but what happened? If we will check in the formula bar, we see that we have exactly the cell AE3 and AF3. So we need to keep all this calculation. But what we need is to remove it and keep only the calendar. How to do it? We need to replace these cells with function. So let's see. The first function AE3 is here. So we will replace it AE3 with the function we have in this cell AE3. Let me go here. I will copy it. Ctrl C go to our function and replace it and click on enter let me check now and the next what we will do is to replace af3 with this with the function we have here so we go here copy the function ctrl c go here and replace it control v and click on enter okay and then we will scroll it down and now what we have we have here this one and a e and a d and a a we will keep because we will always keep it here but this one and this one we need to change let's check let's start with a e let me copy it ctrl c go here and replace the a e with this uh, uh, function ctrl v and click on enter and copy it down and now the only thing is that we have here this number also selected with which is ad but we cannot uh, choose the function because we do not have the function here so we have only the number so what we need is to replace here this ad with one here with 2, here with 3, and so on. Let's do it. So I will go to AD. I have it here, AD, and replace it with 1. And here I have AD as well, and replace it with 1. And let me check. Yes, now we have selected only this uh, A1, which we will keep. And we will copy it and do it uh, for all months.
And now let's check how it works. Uh, for example, if I will change here and put another year, it is changed everything. And uh, let me put another year and it is changed as well. So let me go back to 2024. And now what we need is to replace the first day of uh, the month with our formula we have created here. So let's start with January. We will go to the first Monday and copy this formula, Control C, go to the first Monday of January. And here in sequence, we remember that the rows are the number of weeks we will have, the columns, the number of days in the week. And the start is the first day of the month. It is our uh, number, right? So it is the number one here, the set, and we will replace it, Control V, with our formula and click on Enter. And uh, let me copy it, uh, select everything and double click here. And we see it is another format here. So what we need is to change the format. And we will select the full months, right click and choose format cell or control one. It is the same. You can use a short key. Go to custom and here instead of general, we will put DD and click on OK. By this way, you have only days. Uh, the, the first Monday of January is the first of January that we have here. So obviously the last is uh, the um, here. The last day will be the 11th of uh, February, which will go to, to the next month. And then we will continue and copy this uh, function to uh, every month. So I will go to February and copy it. And here select the day and replace and click on enter. And we will have the same. Select everything. Control one. And here in the format custom change to DD and do the same for the rest of the month. And the next what we will do, we will remove all our calculations. So we will select the rows, uh, uh, the columns, right click, delete. And you see that nothing changed here. Let's check the year and change it to another one, to one more. And to this one. And let me go back to 2024 and we see that the calendar is completely dynamic. Now let's give the best format to this calendar. So select our months, put it bigger and bold. Then select our weekdays, change the fill color to black and the font color to white. And then we'll select all our months. I can select it by Ctrl A and then uh, I will go to Home tab Alignment and choose in the middle and in the center. OK, and now I will apply this format to every hour months. How I do it? I select everything with the name of the months, go to Home tab Format Painter and click on here on the first uh, uh, top left uh, cell of the month. 
and we'll copy it and do it for every month. To do it multiple times, instead of going always to Format Painter, it to the months, again to Format Painter, and again to the months, all you need is to select the needed area, go to Format Painter and click twice. And by this way, you can go and change everything without needed to repeat it multiple times. OK, and then to, to go out from this format, you need to click on Escape or again to Format Painter. OK, now we have it. Now what we will do, we will select all days which not correspond to this month. For example, in, in, in February, it is all of these days and remove it from the calendar. And we will do the same for every month. We will move from this view to this view. How we will do it? Let's see. We we'll select the full month, Ctrl A, go to Home tab, Conditional Formatting and New Rule. From here, use a formula and here we select it is equal two months, open parenthesis and select the first day of this month in the first top left corner. And here what happens that we have locked uh, the, the cell, but we will not do it because we will move from this cell to the last one. So we need to unlock the rows and the columns. I will remove the dollar sign and we'll close the parentheses and we'll say it is not equal. So the day of the month, this one is not equal to, let's say, the the day of the middle of the month, because the day in the middle of the month will be always the current month, right? So we type here month again, open parentheses and select the day in the middle of the month. And this day will be locked because we will compare every day of the month with this one. And we close parentheses and say, go to format and here to number to custom and instead of general we type semicolon 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 with this format we disappear all these numbers and click on ok click on ok and let's see what happened here so you can see here the the formula is changed and removed the k4 to the i1 so we need to correct it let me go here back and I will remove it and put K4 and then click on OK and here it is correct now and click on OK again and here it is and now if we would like to select the days of existing months with another color another from white and move from this view to this view what we will do we go back to the months, select the full months, Ctrl A, go to Home tab, Conditional Formatting, uh, Manage Rules. Here we have our rule already and we need to add another rule. So we select any rule, use the same formula and copy paste it here. And it is this one, but instead of it, uh, not equal, we will replace it with equal because now we will work only with uh, the day of the month and go to the format and from here you can go to the fill tab and select the color you prefer, let's say the light gray and click on OK and click on OK it's great and click on OK again and here we have it and now what we need is to replace the borders of these uh, cells, right? In order to have it white. How we will do it, we will go to the top left corner, click on it, selecting the full worksheet and go to and go to view and from here select off guidelines. And here we have it. 
and let's check if February will work with another month. Let me go to the A1 and let me change here the format as well and align it, put it in the middle and in the center and set the color, the fill color and this one, let me check if it is not, not this, this one is better, right? And put it bold. And let's change the year and put it another one. And we see that the February works perfect, right? Let me go back to 2024. And now we need to copy this format to the full year, right? And now let's see how it works. So we filled everything and let me put the calendar a little bit smaller. This way you can see the, the full calendar and we will change. And this one I will put a little bit bigger. And let's uh, change uh, the year and put another one. And we see that it works. And one more and oops <laughs> but this one as well you see so everything is working let me go back to 2024 and that's all thank you for watching